When I do paint, I have a lot of energy that I give out. Being in the club, there's a certain vibe that can help you create. First thing my father was telling me, don't do cars, it's a waste of time, you're not gonna make any money. I'm a stubborn motherfucker. I'm just doing this because everyone told me I couldn't. Yo, uh, by the way, every single one of these guys, they love with the car. They're like, man, we want to do more. My name's Rich. I'm an automotive designer and crossover artist for Kid Robot. I've worked with Rosé, Waka, Khaled, Ace Hood, D Wade. We doing the roof in green, just the roof. That's it. Turn it off here. Wale, Cool and Dre, Cliff Averill. The wrapping of a car entails, first of all, the design element. Anyone can hook up a car, but not many people can design a car. If we are gonna do a design, I charge a design fee for that. If you decide to use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. Because to put the design together isn't quick. If a client contacts me in regards to collaborating on a car, and I try to understand who they are, so when we do come up with a design, they're not just driving their car. They're driving an extension of themselves. After we choose the design, we figure out if we are gonna partially paint. There are certain things that I won't wrap, just for quality purposes and finish. It's a more artistic process, but it's a thorough process. We're at the W Hotel in South Beach, so we had to bring this thing out. There's no door here, there's not a door. Super light. I think it weighs like, total, total is like 1,800 pounds. The Porsche, I wanted to do something a little different, and it was well received. Five, 10, 15 people, when they, they walk by it, they're taking a picture next to the car. It's still crazy to think that from my imagination to reality, you can have people walk by vehicles and just take pictures. We're gonna go fucking paint the shit to Dunny, and then we're gonna go deliver this car, and then put the wheels on the Bentley. Okay, so what I did is I did the candy on the center and I did reflective on the edges. And the way this red lights up when light hits it, bro, nasty, these guys are going nuts for it. I'm so fucking tired, I'll be honest with you. I got a headache seeing this car, it got rid of my headache. I'm still tired though. You have no idea. And I put wheels on the Bentley and I painted the kid robot at the same time. And I got stuck on the turnpike for two and a half hours. You see what I'm talking about? It's just the stripes and then boom, it's reflective. Just look at this. He's the number freaking one guy anything that regards cars, art, anything. He's a king. No joke. No joke. Let's see, you've done it again, man. I appreciate you. I'm doing something a little different, and I'm doing something that's not been done before. People don't like being different because they're scared that they're going to stand out and stick out. But at the end of the day, I'd rather stand out than be lost. I love Kid Robot. The work on my cars, it being so artistic, you know, hit a nerve. And they basically said, hey, we'll send you some kid. I said, man, give me a chance. I was sitting there after an event at Art Basel. And I said, man, I can paint these things live. I know I can. I think it would be a great show. I, I think it would inspire people. I focused on my dream, which is, was to do that. Miami has a culture that is derived on people trying to be somebody as opposed to being someone. The thing that helps me thrive in Miami is I have my certain spots that I go to my certain spots that it's peace. I'm not influenced by any surroundings. I can kind of zone out and think clearly. Our culture is a creative culture, meaning we're here to drive the culture. You're amazing. And I saw all your fucking dunnies up last night at Mokai. This is what he said, he was like, I think those are riches. I was, I was like, I know those are riches. So you're gonna be at your studio? I'll be there in like 15 minutes at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro. Oh, one's outside, the other one's at the W. You've got to see me paint tomorrow, right? Where? That's set. Come out.
When I first started doing the art, I didn't like having people around. Now I feed off the energy. They are actually collaborating with me and giving me the energy to do this. You can walk down the street and you can see a girl and you say, there's something about her. It's the energy. The reason I make art, the reason I do cars, the reason I stress myself out and I love it so much and I wouldn't change it. I just want to be the guy that does something different, that, that pushes the culture to another level. I think we both, uh, after two or three years in a monogamous relationship, start getting that kind of the itch. itch. <laughs> and in previous relationships, it was like that was the sign that it was time to go. But I just didn't want to go. 